Yeah. You're watching Vini TV, a wine show packed with broken English and passion for wine. And at the moment, we are in Portugal. As you see, we're in the Dao region. It's very sunny, and you can see here there's a small forest fire going on behind that hill. But the native said that it doesn't come here. If it does, I will run to that river over there. But anyways, uh, I have a very ridiculously handsome guy here with me. Why don't you tell uh, the people who you are and what you do? Uh, I'm Andre. Um, I'm, a, I'm a Portuguese. Uh, I have a, a online site for, for wine lovers, basically a kind of a social network where people can share ideas about wine. Um, I also created a, a code called the Avin, which is basically a code that allows wines to be fa found online uh, more easily. And I'm, um, I'm a wine lover, so I'm, I'm here also in this region to, to taste some really good stuff. So, so uh, we're going to limit this conversation to the, to the region, to the Dao region, because we have uh, not so much time. Okay. But uh, could you tell us, uh, in your words, shortly, uh, to the people that don't really know the Dao region, uh, what kind of wines they make here? Yeah, the Dao region is a, is a pretty w unknown uh, uh, region in, in Portugal. Um, it makes some some very very good wines for, for food. Um, uh, it's a type of wine that evolves uh, really well uh, in the bottle. So if you're finding a, a really recent uh, Dom wine, you you can buy it and and you should store it for at least two or three years. It's really good wines that evolve really nicely. Uh, they may they also make a a, a lot of uh, really good white wines. Uh, and it's it's commonplace sometimes to think that white wines uh, should be uh, drank uh, very new. But that's not true, uh, especially with, with these kind of wines. Uh, we've, we've tried wines with 10 years old and um, really, really good white wines. Uh, so it's a, it's, a very, it's a very specific kind of region, uh, and, um, but they produce really good wines. Yeah, actually, we had a quite a, a crazy week and we tasted some uh, wines from, uh, from the 60s, 70s, exactly. 80s, and, and it was just amazing. I didn't have a big clue before I came here about the potential of, of the Dao wines. But for me, it struck out uh, as a region that has a huge potential, uh, not easy wines, uh, very gastronomical. And yeah, definitely uh, wines that you can age for a very, very long time. We tasted the, the uh, 1963. Yeah. And it was just amazing. Yeah, it was so wine. intense. Yeah. And the 71 from, uh, from white. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So white with uh, almost 40 years old. Exactly. Amazing. But it's, it's... Why do you think... Uh, uh, people really don't know what's going on in the Dao region and wh how do you think that that could change in the future? Yeah, the world of wine is very competitive. Uh, there's a lot of regions and a lot of wine producers trying to get your attention. Uh, so basically uh, what's what's been happening with the Dao is that there's there hasn't been a lot of promotion and it's it's mostly a hidden treasure here and with with really good food wines and, and but but at, at very good prices but uh, but it's it's very unknown. And so one of the things that they should do here is promote what they do best and show how their wines can be used, for example, in a very special family meal where you cook for three or four hours, uh, you have uh, something in the oven for four hours, then you don't want to open a 2009, you want to sure. open something that, it's, uh, um, that has evolved, that has history, that has a passion behind the wine, so this region is really good for that. So. so, so what do you think? What would you? What would be your uh, advice for the for the wineries and and well the wine region that they could get the information uh, out there? You know, with a with a with the consumer more and more looking for information online, I would recommend everyone to have a uh, minimum a page on Facebook where they have all their wines and uh, pictures of the vineyard and uh, you know even a video showing uh, what kind of wines they do. And then if they can go into a different level, they can make their own uh, website and then communicate with people who love their wines you know and and you know communicate it's yeah. all about communicating and being being honest about what kind of wines they do definitely do you have a a, a message to the viewers about you know whatever wine life i would say that uh, wine is about uh, exploring so there is no uh, it, it's wrong to think that you can have a, a conception about wine and you think that's the only truth there's no single truth about wine the only single truth there is that you should try wines and explore wines and you see what you like. If you like a type of wine, even if the critics or no one else likes, it's your wine. It's the wine you like. So explore it and drink it. I think that's a good uh, message to end, end the video. Uh, I hope you go visit uh, 
this guy's uh, website, adeka.com, and enjoy once and explore. That's our message. Cheers.